Hello and welcome to Fountain FX on Tuesday the 11th of November 2014. Uh, today is obviously Remembrance Day and also it happens to be uh, 100th anniversary of the start of the First World War. So quite a significant day, so several people will be um, remembering uh, the past and also the freedoms that we experienced because of uh, the, the battles and the, the uh, things that people fought on our behalf years ago. Um, and uh, another form of freedom that we are able to share with you today is the ability to manage your finances and understand how the financial markets work. So we are continuing to look at the US dollar yen. Yesterday I did share with you uh, about the fact that we were looking for uh, an entry for a long because of the negative reaction to US dollar news on Friday with non-farm payrolls. It caused the US dollar to fall. Uh, the US dollar is particularly strong against the yen at the moment. The yen is being weakened. The US dollar is gaining strength. Difference in the economy. So look for the obvious trade, shall we say. So here we go. The US dollar yen has been gaining strength since 15th of October. This is on the four hour chart. It's been pushing up. We got into a high up here. If we go, just going to quickly flick down into a lower chart. What I meant to say was a higher chart and we've had to go as far back as looking at the monthly chart all the way back to uh, October of, well in fact June of 2007, okay, for a higher level in the value of the US dollar against the yen. And if we look here between these two levels, price is right in the middle. So we are in the process of rallying right the way up. So I would actually have the 122 as my final target. So I was looking for a way in which we could enter and take it long. And uh, if I now go back down to the four hour chart, we can, or the one hour chart from there, we can show you exactly what's happened. So looking at the four hour chart, I will look at the four hour chart. We ran a tre counter trend line and we looked for the break of that trend line, which happened here. So that gave a nice entry at the 114.26. And then after that, I then also look for further entries here, which are currently running at the moment. I just look for a quick entry, bank some profit, and then uh, with a view that it may have continued on down. But um, I will just share with you the trades that I'm currently in at, which was an uh, entry yesterday afternoon. Uh, I'm going to have to go down to the 15 minutes to share that with you. And what we see on the 15 minute chart is here's the counter trend line running here and yesterday morning during the morning and also well in fact it wasn't yesterday morning it was Friday evening and uh, yesterday morning where price started to turn no it was yesterday morning I'm talking rubbish now um, price started to turn it broke this trend line okay and it started to go sideways so we had an area of channeling so highs and lows we, we then saw the break above this resistant level, resistance level, and if you see price did push through and then come back down to it and then continued to rally. So this gave a very nice, very strong uh, confirmation that price wants to go up. So an entry anywhere around here, see, we've got a, a bearish engulfing candlestick followed by a bullish engulfing candlestick. Bearish came back down to previous area of resistance, made support, and then right after that we had a a bullish engulfing candlestick so that would have given a nice trade entry as I said around about the 114.26 which is the line but also you could have gone a little bit higher around about the 114.30 for a nice entry um, that said you would be roughly uh, 90 points up by now had you entered there um, I did take a quick trade took profit off because I was looking at resistance levels here uh, when price then broke through it, I then looked at an entry point here, and as price moved in my favour, I entered again last night. So we've got two entries here, dotted there. You can see that uh, price has come back a little bit against me overnight, but then has continued to rally upwards. So I am currently um, two thousand dollars up on both trades, which is around about forty points, I think, if we look at that. Uh, 1465 uh, yeah over 40 points in fact so with looking at um, 45 35 no 55 points on the one and um, 50 points on the other so there you go so not too bad um, if we now look I've got a target for one of them up here uh, because of previous resistance price action so I've 
got a target to take profit there and then uh, what I can do is I can manage my stop so I mean I can manage my stop now I can just literally pull my stops up to just below this area here okay so that's reduced my risk and it's now a case of right let the thing continue to run and see what happens from here it may be a case it pulls back down to this level the 115 before it turns and it carries on up if we just look here also this trend line running up this trend line was plotted on the 15 minute and it was based off this low this second low and this third low okay so that's how I plotted this trend line this fourth low came down and touched it and broke through and it was at this point I was looking at it going it's gonna go it's gonna go, go pop and then it did go pop and I took my trend, my entry from here so um, trend lines very very effective way of trading and that's really it it's an update on uh, the US dollar yen uh, if you're trading this great well done take your profit enjoy uh, easy money and uh, we will catch you tomorrow all the best bye bye